Hello, this is Mike with Car Checks. I'm here at this 2009 Audi A4 with 85,138 miles. Looks pretty close. All right, so we just scanned it. Here's what we have for codes. Um, we're gonna send a copy of this to the customer's email. This vehicle currently has P11AE00, camshaft shift actuator A cylinder, four range performance, and also 01330 comfort system central control module, 02616 unlocking fuel cap. 02615 locking fuel cap 06366 control module 023 sorry 02635 tuner not enabled activated 02115 lock unit for central locking and 02115 lock central lock unit for central locking okay so, this is the scan report on this vehicle. All right, so this battery says it is a AGM however I can't see the actual size so I assume that it's about a 800 in this test I performed it says the battery is good however it does need to be recharged currently has 594 cold cranking amps alright in this video we do a readiness test and it's currently showing that the vehicle hasn't completed its drive cycle enough yet for this test to be complete could be for a variety of different reasons so usually after the vehicle has driven far enough these turn green in this case there are three that are not ready yet, which is the catalyst, the EVAP, and the O2 sensor. All right, so I'm looking inside the engine. From what I can see, it looks clean. All right, that looks fine. The coolant looks fine. Brake reservoir looks fine. Noticing a lot of buffing compound everywhere under here. It looks like it kind of got slung everywhere. It will come off. All right, oil is full and clean. All right, noticing a factory original headlight assembly. And this bolt looks like it hasn't been removed. This one got, this one's a little loose. Looks like it over tightened one time. That one got over tightened. Same there. And there. 
factory headlight. Looks original. There's the turbo area. I do see a little seepage around the turbo line right there. It doesn't look like it's dripping though. Doesn't look like the uh, valve cover gasket's leaking. All right, I noticed there's a coolant leak on this hose here. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see here, but it's this hose right there that goes on the back of the engine. There's some dried up crusty stuff and it's dripping. There's another angle on it. So you're going to want to get that fixed right away. <laughs> Looks like it goes into the uh, the back of the engine, the coolant jacket, plastic housing there. Looks like the hose clamp, or the fitting on the hose is leaking. Alright, serpentine belt still looks usable. All right, here's the under side of the car. See some scratches under the bumper here. Some here as well, there. Looks like it's missing a screw. Missing one there as well. Okay, moving on. It's hard to see the bushings do have some cracking. I don't think they'll be uh, demonstrating any kind of symptoms yet or symptomatic, but we'll find out on the test drive. Alright, there's another view of that hose that's leaking coolant. Alright, other than that it looks dry under there. Alright, here's the back of the engine, which could be one of these cam sensors that looks like there's a little oil residue on the back. It doesn't seem to be dripping, but I'm noting that it may have had a leak in that area at one point and maybe cleaned up.
Just wanted to note that there is a big plastic covering here, which does obstruct a lot of view. And there could be uh, anything in that area that I won't be able to see, I can't comment on. But from the areas that I've seen, those are able to be documented here in the video. Just wanted to be transparent about the covering where I can't see. And we don't remove these. All right, I am noticing some corrosion here on the metals, which indicates it probably was up north for at some point, or possibly down in Florida, somewhere where the salty roads. But all these bolts look like they would come off okay. It's just like a surface, surface corrosion, we call it. All right, that concludes our inspection on this 2009 Audi A4. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Thanks.